Hello guys, in this video we're going to talk about Globplans, a website that sells 3D models plants. My name is Katrina, I'm a garden designer and I see plants. So welcome to another Garden Design Tools video. In this video I'm going to share with you my experience of purchasing a plant in Globplants. So Globplants is an Australian uh, website that sells 3D modeling plants. Okay, They have bundles, you can buy them individually as well um, and in collections. So they have for different programs from, uh, for different, uh, uh, in different formats. Okay. Um, so if you're working only in SketchUp, they have some for SketchUp, not all of them, okay, so you need to check out. So what I have really trouble finding, I'm looking, I'm, I'm working mainly with Lumion and Twinmotion, so planting materials, the lacking of planting materials, especially in, with pendulous uh, structure, okay, or um, something like, something like uh, weeping, um, something like uh, climbers as well so that's really lacking okay so that's really hard to get sometimes um and that's what i was looking for uh, specifically okay so uh i've purchased uh let me just show you uh, what i've purchased because i'm actually going to use it in a project now it's a cedric clock uh, uh, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about the shape and why it's so hard to get this shape. Even in 3D warehouse to get really, because it's really hard to do. Um, I think the prices are okay. Uh, um, if, it's, uh, if it's a species that you really need, um, uh, I think the prices, they are not bad. Um, it's just really, this is what I've purchased. Uh, the Sandra's, Cedrus Atlantica uh, Glauca Pendula. So they have, uh, I'm just going to share with you, I'm going to open. So, and I'm going to share my experience of importing. Uh, I uh, bought the FBX um, um, format, okay, because that's very rich in terms of quality. Uh, and I wanted to ex ex uh, share my experience of importing these kind of files in Lumion and in Twinmotion. Lumion is a nightmare to import these kind of files and it's really annoying, but I'll share that in a little bit. But anyway, you have for SketchUp as well, as you can see here. Um, and these kind of shapes are really hard to get in terms of plant material. And we are using a lot this kind of pendulous uh, shapes okay so this is really hard to get so this is something i like to see because uh, websites like this and it is good if you guys can if you're a garden designer or a landscape architect it's good to to incentivate this kind of companies as well you know so purchase a plant um, it's not gonna bankrupt you if you if you if you're actually selling your projects and doing your projects and it keeps them going as well and incentivates them more to to create more models okay because that's what we want as well so so basically you order, you receive an email, it's from uh, Shopify, okay, I got a discount when you subscribe to the newsletter and basically after you get a download, okay. So you only get the download for the format you've purchased. So have really in consideration what format you want to purchase, okay. So now I import it into Lumion. What's the problem of importing an FBX file into Lumion? Is that you can't, not like Twinmotion, you can't, it doesn't have an, uh, you can't import it having in consideration the hierarchy of the model. It has in only in consideration the material. So if I'm selecting this bark here, it's selecting all that's with the bark. If I'm selecting in the leaves, it's selecting all the leaves in the other trees, okay? So the, the way they sell that file, okay, they sell with different shapes that you could uh, use one or the other um, as you see fit, okay? But in Lumion, I can't really move them around. I can't delete the other ones and just use one of them. Uh, so it's a bit of a nightmare. Plus, when you first import it, I'm just going to share with you when you first import um, this kind of file into Lumion. It's going to go into plants. I'm just going to put two. I delete this after. Okay. 
uh, import with animations is available in my, uh, I'm not sure to be honest how it this uh, uh, works normally um, this kind of file you you would be able to import with some kind of information info from the file of animation I'm sorry but um, maybe it doesn't have i'm not sure if it doesn't have or if it's just not important because it doesn't have any animation that's the other thing these kind of files in lumion they're always static so you don't you're not going to have the wind factor here okay so have that in consideration as well so i'm just going to uh, wait a little bit for you to see how you first import and how it is So as you can see, this is how it is when you first import the model. So it's basically the division is there in terms of the modeling, the leaves, etc. But basically, you're going to have to go and paint your model. OK, you only do this once and after it's recorded in your models. So uh, it, it wouldn't be a problem. So, but basically, you're going to have to go and pick up each texture each material okay from the from the folder of materials that comes with the with the with the model okay i'm just going to show you quickly how is the folder of the model once you've downloaded so basically this is what you get you have the the model file and you have the maps that's all the textures and everything so basically in lumion you're gonna have to paint your model okay um and this is images of a preview okay of what you get okay so now let's talk about twin motion and how is it the twin motion experience of importing fbx um, models okay so straight away the model is all applied with the texture okay this is really important uh, to save you time when you import in the options, it's really important not collapse by material, but keep hierarchy. What it's going to do is what it should do in Lumion as well, if they had this option, that I'll really appreciate it, is that he actually in the outliner, you can see, you can see first that the, the model is like this, so they all uh, together and you can select them all together. But if you click down the arrow, you have all the different um growth uh, options that comes in the model um, and you can select them individually okay so you can select by the actual model you look you you're gonna use or you're gonna you're gonna um, work with you can add that specific model to your user library so if you know you're probably gonna use more this option uh, in your projects um, you can just select that one and select and add to your user library and delete the other ones okay so that's what i would like to see in lumion okay i think uh, twin motion does a much better job in importing um importing this kind of uh files to be honest uh, to their um uh, to their world okay so yeah, I really like that. Um, I think it works really well. Um, just check out the website. Um, you have uh, you have a lot of plants. One I was looking for is this lavandula. So is it expensive? Is it not? I don't think so. If it's something that you're going to use a lot in your projects. If you're a garden designer or a landscaper in, and the client's already paying for your project, but it's something like a bigger project or a more important client. Um, these pendulous shapes are really difficult to source uh, for free in the 3D warehouse. So, and this is a way of really getting these companies uh, that really specialize in 3D models and especially um, planting modeling. Okay, so that's really hard. Um, it's really to incentivize these kind of companies to 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 have more, to have more plants, to, to sell, uh, to have more options for you to buy, to purchase, okay? So um, these kind of prices, they are not going to bankrupt. You have bundles as well. 
I find it more uh, difficult to justify just because a lot of these, some of these uh, bundles, uh, some of the species you have them in this kind of programs being Twin Motion or Lumion or even from the 3D warehouse, but they, they, are, they looked really good and uh, they seem really good quality, so check them out, okay? I really think sometimes as well that it's just nice to have to enrich your library just to have some different plants because if you're working a lot with being twin motion or lumion if you were always working with the same 3d models the projects start getting a bit boring because you always look in the same look the same kind of lavandula like the lavandula from twin Mo from lumion okay so it's just nice to you know invest little bit by little bit to create your own library you know to enrich your library of 3d models uh, so i think that's a good idea as well so check it out don't forget to i'm doing a uh, garden demo so from 2d to 3d if you're a landscaper or garden designer and you're still working on 2d 2d plants hand drawings whatever uh, and if you want to see how your project will look in 3d uh, I'm going to do a demo, 3D garden demo. Um, I'll put the link in the description of this video if you're interested for the blog post, okay? Uh, make sure you are uh, follow us on Instagram and subscribe your YouTube channel to get in this demo thing, okay? See you guys in the next video.